I'm looking up some of your records. Third of all time for most consecutive slams. Did you uh, know that? Yeah, yeah, I was, I was, I was leading for a while, but. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Roger just Rogers, it he's up. got everything, man. <laughs> that guy, he's, he's not even nice to give anybody anything. For me, I've had so many good memories here. My, my better memories were my finals that I made in 92, breaking through, and then, you know, I had such a great career. Seats quickly, please. Warm, balmy night, the roof over the top in case of showers. And will it be McEnroe or Ferreira who makes it through to the semi finals? Singles, best of five sets, four set tie break, fifth set advantage. This is what I'm going for. I want to be one of the best tennis players. I'm trying as hard as I can. I don't know, I really, you know, to be honest, I haven't seen him play that much, but he certainly impressed me this match. Wayne Ferreira playing in the biggest match of his life against a man who's won seven Grand Slam tournaments. I had heard throughout the year from some of the other players, some of my friends, that Ferreira is a big talent. He's an up-and-coming player. I mean, uh, he's one of these guys that could be a top, you know, could very well be a top 10 player, for, without question. It's in, and McEnroe can't believe it. What a shot by Ferreira. And I didn't realize that he, uh, he moved as well as he did. He moves quite quickly. Where can McEnroe conjure up some magic here? He's very smooth when he, when he moves. I mean, he just played too good. That's the bottom line. I mean, he just outplayed me. Game, first set for Game, second set for a Six games. Someone in here asked John if he thought he played the perfect match. Uh, there's never a perfect match. You can always play better than, than you do. I, I mean, I'm really satisfied in the way I played. I did everything right that I wanted to do, and, and I felt really confident in everything that I did. And, you know, I'm just pleased that, that it was over as quick as it was. The game has changed, the technology's changed, the style of tennis has changed. If you look at tennis matches, you look at results at the end of it, you know, it comes down to one or two points in a match, and it can make a huge difference. Listen to the Applause for that man, he's certainly a favourite. These two players are both competing in their 50th Grand Slam event. The year that I made the finals over here, I mean, Andre was, he was unbeatable. Uh, I had no chance, he beat everybody, he beat Schuttle in the finals. I don't think he lost a set. Well, that is the first set, 24 minutes, six games to two, Agassi. A little bit disappointing at the end of the career that I couldn't have gone a little bit further, but uh, he was just, at that stage, way too good. That's too good. There was no doubt he's played much better than this in the tournament, I guess we could say, though. He's been allowed to play much better by some of his earlier opponents, but not against Agassi. Uh, Wayne Ferreira takes his exit, and Andre Agassi through to the final again. You just beat up on poor Wayne Ferrer in about an hour and a half. Do you think you're a better player now than you ever were? I, I can't be that objective about myself, to be quite honest. Well, give it a shot. Sure. <laughs> uh, I'm stronger, I'm faster, and I have uh, 17 years experience, so my vote is probably yes. So is mine. I, I have a lot of respect for him. I think he is a very knowledgeable man. He, he reads and understands the game probably better than anyone I've, that, that I know. Would you show your appreciation for the efforts of Wayne Ferreira? 56 consecutive Grand Slams, about 14 and a half years. So it was, yeah, it was good. I mean, it was a lot of years.